Let's compare the mini bags from Jujubee as purses. So behind me I have the mini Helix. And this is in the brand new Donatella Sweet Shop 2.0. It is going to be coming out this month, so stay tuned for this. It's so cute. My daughter has been begging to have this bag ever since I received it. Let me just show you up close there. So fun, so cute. It also goes really well with the other colors that are coming out this month in the chromatics. It is the Grape Crush and the Raspberry Jam. They just all pair together so nicely. So that is the Mini Helix. Then we have here the Mini BFF, a favorite little purse among many. And this is the Butterfly, oh, I can't remember the exact name of this print, but I think it was in their clearance section when I grabbed it, but very, very pretty black background with pops of the color in the butterflies. Kind of looks like watercolors, it's so pretty. And then this is the sketch print that I have here in the mini BRB. I've always loved the sketch print. Just a really fun black and white, but my favorite thing is this super awesome pop of mint color that you get for the lining. So I have had some requests to compare these three bags since they're all three kind of a similar size and show them how I would pack them up as like little mini um, purses for myself. Now if you take a look at all three side by side, you'll notice the mini Helix and the mini BRB are more of a vertical packing style, whereas the mini BFF is more of a horizontal packing style. If I turn this on its side, they would all be a very similar height. It actually looks like the BFF might be a little bit taller than the others. Another thing I wanted to mention is they all come with the same size strap. So it's a um, kind of skinny strap. It does have an adjustment here. So you can wear this crossbody over your shoulder. Um, and what's really nice about the mini um, BFF and the mini BRB is they both have the option to wear the bag's backpack style. The mini Helix is strictly over the shoulder or crossbody. All right, let me show you what I have packed in the mini BRB and then I'll transfer everything into the other two bags so you guys can see how they compare. This is what it looks like from the side. And then here is the back. You can see it has the adorable star. It has a mesh backing. And then there are three D rings so that you can wear this backpack style. At the end of the video, I'll show you all three on the body so you can get a better idea of what these look like on. The very first thing is this front flap kind of snap closure pocket. And I have found this is the perfect place to throw in a pack of gum without kind of bulking up that pocket or making it look weird. <laughs> so a nice slim pack of gum fits in there perfectly. Behind that you have this zip around pocket, which is usually like the mommy pocket on the regular BRB. And in here I found this is the perfect place to throw in a kind of slim, smaller wallet. So little place for my wallet there. Above that there's a long zipper and inside here I was able to put in my phone. Now the only reason this worked is because you actually have room above the zipper as well. So if I just tried to put it in it would it would go above the zipper but I just kind of tucked it under there and it fits perfectly even with my loopy case and everything on it. So I love that my phone fits there. As I was packing this bag, I was really wishing that this main compartment had a double zipper because just like the regular Be Right Back, it does go all the way down to the bottom. So when you're packing it, you kind of have to lay it down or everything's just going to come falling out. So I was wishing that there was another zipper over here so that I could zip both sides up and kind of put stuff in. And then it would be easier to just like put down halfway and grab what I need. At the top right there is where I put in my spray hand sanitizer that you saw that kind of fell down there. Then right here I do have a raspberry fig bar. I've tucked in the corner my car keys and then also a tied to go pen. I have here a small set piece in the color linen and this is where I am keeping a mask. I have a Bare Minerals Compact. I'm also keeping a um, lip gloss a chapstick, and a hair tie. And then sitting against the back wall of the bag, I do have a boogie board. I love having one of these for entertainment for my daughter, and I love how slim and small and compact this is. Um, it will fit great into all three bags, so these are nice to have for quick entertainment purposes. And again, beautiful, beautiful mint lining on the inside. I absolutely love that. And for some reason, the sketch print just has the most amazing smooth zipper. I love it. 
There is a grab handle here at the top, your two D rings on the sides to attach your adjustable strap. Okay, let's move on to the mini Helix um, because it's another vertical packing style. I think it will be a good comparison. So you have one front zippered pocket and then there is a mesh pocket on the inside of that. So that is really um, nice and handy to have. I'm going to put in the gum inside of that mesh pocket and then I'm gonna put my um, wallet inside of the regular pocket. Now you do have a slip pocket on the back and I have found that this is the perfect place to store my phone. It's easy to get in and out of there and the fabric does hide the phone pretty well. And then we do have a zipper pocket right here that goes all the way down to the bottom. And I think what I'll put in there is this tied to go pen and then maybe my keys will fit in there as well. Yeah. That fits fine in there. Now let's look at the interior of the bag. You do have a back mesh pocket and then just an open space. So in the back mesh pocket, I'm gonna see if this boogie board will fit. That boogie board fits fine in the back. Small set piece that I think will fit in front of that. Okay, little bit of a tight squeeze to get it in there, but you can see there's still room on the side and on the top. So on the side, I think that's gonna be the perfect place to throw in my hand sanitizer spray. And then just on the very top, I will throw in that snack. And I still have a little bit of room there at the top, so that's great. So that is what that looks like from the side and the back all packed up. All right, last one, let's pack up the mini BFF. Okay, in the front pocket, I'm gonna do the same thing and throw in um, the gum. There's no pockets in here, by the way, just an open space, so I'll put in the gum and then also the wallet inside there. On the back of the mini BFF, you do have a slip pocket, so again, I'm gonna throw my phone into there. And then you have your main section, which does have a double zipper pull, which is great. I really appreciate that. And then I do like that there's gussets here to kind of hold everything in. And then there is a mesh pocket in the very back. So let's just put in the boogie board in the very back there. In front of that, I'll put in the small set piece. Over to the side, we'll do the hand sanitizer spray. We'll put in the snack. Over in this corner, I'll throw in my keys. And then just down at the very base in front of everything, I'll just throw in the tied to go pin. And I still have quite a bit of room here at the top. I could even throw in an extra snack like an applesauce or something up there at the top and that would fit just fine. And actually, after packing all three of those with all the same items, I like how the mini BFF packs the best. Um, I think it must just be that you have this double zipper pull. It makes it easy to get everything. Nothing's going to fall out. And I feel like everything is most easily accessible inside of this mini BFF, which is actually kind of surprising to me because I really do like all three bags and I've used all three, but packing one by one like this, I realized that the mini BFF is definitely easiest to get things out of and see things. It's definitely the most accessible to your items. And like I mentioned, I feel like it has more room than the other two bags. Very interesting. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick comparison of the mini bags from Jujube. I'm actually kind of surprised at which one I like best because usually I am more of a vertical packing person but um, for some reason in the mini bags the uh, mini BFF is the winner in my opinion. If you have any questions or comments leave those down in the comments down below. I'll be sure to leave a link to GGB's website down in the description box. I know that some of these styles are still in the um, sale page that they have on their website so definitely go check that out while that's going on. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon in another comparison video for Bagtoberfest. See you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,